Do you remember Lloyd Grossman through the keel? Well, I don't know who lives in a room like this, but I can tell you that a fisherman lives in this house with the best catch of his life. But we're going to have a look at my tackle room right now. It was one of our bedrooms at home. Our youngest daughter used to be here. She's flown the nest. She lives in the potteries now in North Staffordshire. And as you can see, coming into the room right at the top, I've got some cooking equipment there when I do a, a long session somewhere sleeping bag got a couple of hats you will have seen those if you've been watching my videos recently well certainly that one i haven't worn that one yet but they were given to me by a norwegian ground hopper i had to pick a group of people up in uh, liverpool some time ago and one of them knew that i was angler and he bought me those uh, two hats and then here you've got boxes there i like to keep the various species or group of species in uh, the tackle in separate boxes, much easier to work with loading your bag and so on and so forth. Marker floats there, I've got my uh, pike traces, other assorted things. I've got a lure bag there that you can uh, see and then a, another small bag alongside it and my poachers, uh, it's a poacher's pocket mini rod and reel setup. I use that a lot. Got a camcorder there, more bags. Dropping right the way down now. That's my bed chair that I use for my main sessions. And behind it is my old bed chair. I hate throwing things away. So I keep that one when I'm perhaps on the river bank and I like to just stretch out a little bit and it's, and it's not quite level, so it doesn't matter too much. And there, as you can see, I've got some uh, rods that are made up and there, well that's a couple of carp rods in there. And I've got my uh, carp net as well. I've got a shelter, it's a float rod that I've been doing some crucian carp fishing recently with. Another rod made up, another one there and another one. And then we're gonna come round as the camera follows me in. I've got a bag there. That's what I use when I go on an overnighter or perhaps I'm going pike fishing or for the day somewhere. I need lots of uh, gear. As you can see on top, I do a lot of lure fishing. That's my uh, mini uh, jigging setup at the moment. Then I've got other spinning rods and reels on there as well. Here, we're dropping down now. That's my sea box. And as you can see inside, it's fairly neat. I haven't been sea fishing since March this year, but I do like to keep things quite neat and tidy so I know where everything is. And you can see there, I've got some uh, line and various bits and pieces in that unit there, another bag on top. And this section down here, again, rods and reels, but as you can uh, see, that's a, a pike a float there, a dead bait float. I've also got some sea rods as well as the main rods that have got multipliers on, I've got some telescopic ones down there and boxes. We love our tubs as anglers, so I mix ground bait up in there. And then we've got the wardrobe hanging up, got the unhooking mat inside to my left, got my fishing clothes. And then as the camera pans around, I've got my bait. At the top, I've got pop-ups and dips, got some boilies there, got some pellets. Right at the very bottom, I've got some ground bait. I'm due to order some more of that actually. And then I've got my little bag that I take out. And as you can see from my recent uh, fishing trips, got some lobworm pellets. And also, should be in there, some lobworm boilers. They've been doing the business as far as the big carp are concerned. I've got some waders. When I go on my holidays I like to take the waders with me on the beach. It means you can just step out a little bit if you need to. On top of the wardrobe I've got a number of different shelters from a, from a big tracker two-man bivvy that will withstand all the elements to some more basic 
overnight summer shelters which are great also got my pod there as well as you can tell from the logo there that's a, a Nash pod and then up on the wall there well I've just got a couple of things on there at the moment I do put some of my rods up there on the wall I've got another bag there which I use for shorter sessions and if I lift that up I don't know if you can see inside but I've got lots of different items of tackle there floats and leads and cage feeders and hooks and all manner of things likewise there look at that I don't like throwing things away that is a very very old bite alarm it's a a Shakespeare <laughs> so you can tell how long I've had that and I've got some old stuff there some jungle formula which I haven't used for a while then as we pop down likewise I've got some more bits and pieces and if you open up to the bottom too again some different odds and ends I've got a, a bait dropper in there I've got some uh, patches if I want to repair a uh, shelter or some catapult elastics there's a spot in there and at the bottom that's where I keep all my old records so all my fishing records every time I go fishing I keep a note of where I went and what I caught and I didn't intentionally save these but I didn't throw them away so I've got all my rod licenses since they were produced in that particular format and then I've got some cuttings there from various magazines where I've actually been uh, featured so I used to write in the uh, in the angling star so you can see there that's quite a it's quite a feature there and I think the other ones underneath yeah they're the same put those back I've got a couple of chairs there. I did mention that's my main chair. I did mention I don't like throwing things away. <laughs> that's very, very rickety, but I'll take it out from time to time when I'm perhaps on an uneven uh, riverbank, really difficult to get into, and it's better than nothing. Then I've got my uh, barrow behind there. You can see the wheel there, I've got a net, which reminds me it needs, uh, needs repairing. Got some more rods there made up got a little whip i like to do a little bit of whip fishing i bought this in did i buy this in france or was it in the uk i did buy one in france anyway that might be in the loft actually but i enjoy that that's quite good very pleasurable from time to time so and i think this is the last one here i've got a box of bait which i did run through in a recent blog entry pellets uh, uh, and boilers they're all in there and in time I'll put that back into the wardrobe so this is where it all happens as far as my tackle room is concerned <laughs>